Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to day 96 of Commercial Diving School. So today is Monday, but we actually dove yesterday on a Sunday. So I'm not sure uh, how many Commercial Diving Schools actually dive on the weekend. Uh, I would guess zero, but at CDA we actually dive on a Sunday. So I'm gonna tell you all about uh, yesterday and today um, as a bonus. So if you're new to the channel, subscribe. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video and leave any comments or questions for me down below. So uh, on Saturday, we could actually have guests. Um, uh, only like two people had guests. Uh, I know I had my family come out um, and we had a good time for about five hours just to hang out and it was really nice. Um, and then uh, it all came to an end because on Sunday we had to give up like part of our weekend uh, to do two more dives. Um, it was just a common dive for us, nothing we haven't seen before. It was just another 132 foot dive um, in the morning and then a 70 foot dive in the afternoon. Um, we really didn't do too much other than that. Um, it was a normal work day from, you know, 0640 uh, all the way to, you know, 1700. Um, so we basically worked all day on a Sunday and um, but the weather wasn't too bad and it actually warmed up so it wasn't as cold as it, it's been so that was the only nice part about it um, because I know Saturday it warmed up a lot and I was going to be really mad if it cooled right back down on first Sunday when we go back to diving so but it didn't stay warm so um, and it's been warm since uh, but anyways, uh, let's go ahead and jump into Monday. Today we did two dives again, uh, but the first one was to 132 feet um, like normal in our wetsuits. And it was actually our last time we're going to use our wetsuits because after today we have three more dives. We have one dive that we have to complete tomorrow. Um, and it's the 165 foot dive and we're going to be diving in the hot water suit so not a wetsuit not a dry suit um not you know nothing at all but um are they have at the school they have um a hot water suit which basically a hot water hose instead of going like directly into your wetsuit it's actually hooks up to the suit and fills up the suit the instructor said it's kind of like being in a swimming pool so it's it's going to be really nice uh, but like I said uh, on and then our last two dives on Wednesday those are both going to be in our dry suit so last time we're going to have to put on our wetsuits was the first dive today so we can hang those up to dry and hopefully they dry out by the time you know Friday maybe even not because they always stay wet for some reason uh, but Anyways, uh, and then our second dive in the afternoon was a 50 foot dive uh, in our dry suits. Um, and it wasn't really anything special other, other than that. It was our fourth dive we've done in our dry suit. Um, and you have to do a total of six. So we've knocked four of those out. Just have to do two more on Wednesday um, for the DCBC certification. Um, but yeah, other than that, uh, we didn't do too much. Uh, don't really have any more for you guys other than that. Uh, so if you guys have any questions, um, definitely leave them in the comments. If you guys want to know what's coming up, because tomorrow we have our 165 foot dive. Um, our second one, actually, we get to bring our GoPros. Um, I actually had my GoPro sitting here just now, but, um, I was going to show you guys, but um, I'm gonna bring a try to bring a selfie stick and try to uh, use that to get really good footage of the whole dive um, down to 160 feet um, and then I'm not gonna bring the GoPro into the chamber because you can't bring any metal um, stuff like that uh, because they don't want it causing a spark and because if there was to be a fire in the a hyperbaric chamber there's nothing they can really do for you because they can't vent or add pressure because um, either way it's it's not going to be good for um, the people inside and then they can't open it up they can't like vent to open it up because as soon as they open it up that adds more oxygen in there you know it's a bad day if there's a fire so there's absolutely no metal in a hyperbaric chamber 
So can't bring the GoPro, but I can, you know, have someone take it and film me going into it. And then hopefully they'll remember to, you know, videotape me coming back out of it and everything just so you can guys can get the biggest picture possible for what it looks like and of what we're doing. So I'm really excited for that, but not too excited to wake up at 2.30 tomorrow to start work at 3.00 or school or training um, but uh, after that we're done with both of our 165 foot dives and but the definitely the hot water shoot is going to be money i can't wait for that um, and then wednesday like i said we're going to do our two uh, last dives and then thursday we're basically going to do makeup dives uh, not too many people have to do makeups probably like two people like one scuba, one um, surface supplied air. And then Friday um, is our graduation in the morning. Our family comes and some of us get picked up. Other of us have vehicles and everything. We're basically going to ride off into the sunset to our, you know, dream jobs pretty much. And uh, yeah, that's going to be that. And uh, the series is going to come to an end. I know, sad, but uh time to move on to you know our jobs and everything and uh i'm still gonna uh you know do try to do a couple of videos uh, about what i'm gonna be doing um not at work but um definitely let you guys know uh what kind of job i get um probably not gonna disclose any names or anything like that just just like i always do um i don't give out like personal information but definitely gonna because that's a big portion of commercial diving is um, after school. Like, how long does it take to get a job? Like, a lot of people want to know that. Um, and then, are there you know a surplus of jobs? And uh, where's the best jobs and stuff like that? So, um, yeah, definitely want to continue that kind of stuff. But anyways, that's really all I have for you guys. I'm kind of just rambling on at this point. But if you guys enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already. Leave any comments or questions for me down below. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Have a great one. Peace.